Okay, so here's a video to take you through the steps to download and open up files needed for CAS 133. Downloading the files, unzipping them, putting them in folders, all that kind of thing. So, first thing you need to do is turn on the computer, of course, and then uh, go to Firefox, open up Firefox. And when Firefox opens, go up here to the address bar and type in tiny.cc backslash capital CAS 133, which will take you to the class website. I'm going to scroll down um, in the section that says other information, downloads, and click on the link that says data files download. This will take you to the book companion site, which has all the information we need. Uh, once you get there, click over here on data files. And then to go down to the section that says data files for text, and it's the one that's underneath it here. Click on that, and click on the save file, and it'll download it. Okay, when it's downloaded, then go down to your library and click on Downloads. And then click on this, which is what we just downloaded. Double click on that. And you'll get this, and we say double click or click on Run. And then this is an important part unzip to folder. Um, if you're going to put on your flash drive, you need to find it first. So you click on Browse and go down to click on computer and this is my flash drive yours may have a different name so open that up and unzip okay 16 files unzipped successfully now those are on the flash drive you don't need this anymore so close that out we don't need that anymore close that out you don't need this anymore, close it out. Don't need that anymore, close that out. Don't need this anymore, close it out. Okay, <clears throat> now I want to see what's on my flash drive. So I'll go down here to the library again <clears throat> and go down here to removable disk. And here's all the things that were downloaded, the 16 files. Now notice these files all still have this uh, zipped folder status and if you just hold it over for a second you can see it says zipped so that means these in turn have to be unzipped in order for you to use them so uh, for example here's word tutorial one you want to unzip that so what you do is um, left click left click i'm sorry right click on um, word tutorial one right click and then click on with your left clicker extract all and then it says files will be extracted to this folder and basically if you do nothing it'll default to put it in the same folder that the zipped folder is in which is fine for now so extract okay so now you'll notice down here at the bottom here's the word uh, tutorial one here's word tutorial one up here but this is the zipped one this one's actually unzipped now and it's available for use. Um, so the next thing um, you might want to do once you unzip it is you don't need to have this zipped file anymore so you might as well go ahead and delete that so you don't have extra files in there. Are we sure? Yes we're sure. Alright so then once you get this uh, unzipped again um, you can just double click on this it'll open it up keep double clicking and then you'll see the tutorial files review cases and if you just click on one you'll see here's the ones we used in class the other day author uh, docx and frog um, and you can go look at the other ones now some of them like this one won't have one and that's okay we just uh, they set it up as if it had one some cases won't so don't be freaked out if there's nothing there it just means for that particular case you're not going to um, have a uh, file to start with so not the end of the world 
and that's basically basically that. Now while we're here, if you want to set up a um, in the book it tells you to put things um, into certain folders maybe um, and you don't have to do that exactly um, but if you want to set up a folder for your homework that's easy to do and you can do it right here where the other stuff is um, and how you do that is just go down here to a blank area right click and click on um, new and then folder you'll know, get a new folder there so let's just call it uh, homework homework and then uh, click off of it to make it go live um, so if you click on double click on homework you can see that um, nothing is there so <clears throat> what we can do uh, then is double click on that and then in here if you want to you can put in subfolders for the various sections so if we wanted to put a new folder in here for word we can do that word and then if we want to go even further and subcategorize this into the chapters of word you can double click on that and go in here right click again new and folder and say chapter one click over here somewhere to select it uh, new folder chapter two etc okay so now if we go back and look at that here's our homework so we double click on homework word chapter one and two so when you go to save your your document so let's say I'm going to open up word and okay and I want to save this in Word chapter one homework All right so go up here and file save as and then I need to go down here on this side and find the removable disk homework word chapter one and save Okay, to prove to you that all works, come back here, click on library again, removable disk, homework, word, chapter one, this is a test. So it's right there. And that's sort of how you do it. I realized that was a little quick, um, but if you watch it a few times, uh, you will get the handle of it. So thank you, and... I hope this has been um, help for you.